Good day everyone. Our topic for today is all about central and inscribed angles. So let's start. First thing is what is an angle? An angle is a shape formed by two lines or rays with a common endpoint, and that common endpoint is called the vertex. So this is an example of an angle. And yung angle usually denote as this symbol. Ang basa natin dyan is theta. So, ang tanong, sir, paano nga ulit big kasi? Isipin mo lang yung tawag mo sa kapatid ng iyong nanay. So, ito ay theta. Araw mo lang ng content. And, this point is what we call the vertex. Now, ano yung tawag dun sa dalawang ray na bumubuo ng angle? And, those are called legs or sides. Next thing, paano natin papangalanan ng isang angle? So, we can use one letter. So, pwede nating pangalanan siya gamit yung kanyang vertex. So, if this vertex is point A, so pwede nating pangalanan tong angle na to na angle A. Ganun na kasimple. Next, paano kung maraming nakadikit dyan sa vertex na yan, hindi lang isa? So, gagamit tayo ng tatlong letter. So, pwede nating siyang pangalanan na angle C, A and B. Or, pwede rin namang angle B, A, C. Make sure lang, na pag napapangalan tayo ng angle at tatlong letra yan, make sure na yung vertex, yung vertex na A, ay palaging nasa gitna. Naiintindihan? So, palaging nasa gitna yung vertex natin. Okay, so let's move on. Um, let's have a review. So, ito ay types ng angle. I know for sure yung iba sa inyo ay alam na ito. But, revision din natin. So, let's have the first one. We have an acute angle. So, ano nga ba ang acute angle? Acute angle measures less than 90 degrees. So, lahat ng angle na less than 90 degrees, ang tawag natin dun is acute angle. Next, we have right angle. Pag sinabi natin right angle, this is exactly 90 degrees. And usually, meron tayo makikita na maliit na box. So, kahit na wala tayong nakalagay na 90 degrees, may nakita tayong box dyan, automatic na yun ay 90 degrees. Next is we have the an obtuse angle. When we say obtuse angle, those are angles measures between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Like this. So, ito ay greater than 90 degrees. Next, pang apat. We have a straight angle. Pag sinabi natin straight angle, this is equals to 180 degrees or exactly 180 degrees. Next, pang lima. Meron din tayong tinatawag na reflex angle. Ano man yung reflex angle? Yung angle between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. So lahat ng angle lagpas ng 180 degrees, ang tawag natin doon ay reflex angle. And the last one, full angle. So, ito ay kompletong bilog or simply ang measure niyan is exactly 360 degrees. Okay, let's move on. Now, let's talk about central angle and its intercepted arc. Central angle is an angle formed by any two of the radii of a circle whose vertex is at the center. So, when we say radii, ito ay plural ng radius. So, ibig sabihin, dalawang radius yung tinutukoy natin dito. And yung vertex ay nandoon daw sa center. So, let's have a picture of a central angle. So, we have circle A. Gawa tayo ng radius AB. Ito yung magiging legs ng ating angle. And we have radius AC. So, dalawang radius. So, meaning, ang angle na BAC or angle CAB this theta is what we call a central angle. Next, ano naman yung intercepted arc? Pag sabi natin intercepted arc, yun yung arc na na kain ng angle. Okay? In this case, ito yung arc BC. Ito yung angle, ito yung intercepted arc. Meron tayong tinatawag na central angle theorem. So, this theorem states that, that the measure of the central angle is equal 
to the measure of its intercepted arc. So, ano ibig sabihin? Kung yung intercepted arc natin ay let's say 90 degrees, so yung angle, 90 degrees din. Kasi equal lang sila. Kung yung arc natin ay 80 degrees, yung angle natin, 80 degrees din. Kung ito ay 50, ito ay 50 degrees din. And so on and so forth. Now, let's have an example. So, give the measure of the indicated angle. Number 1. Okay, given na yung arc BC is equal to 90 degrees. Now, sabi dun sa ating central angle theorem, yung angle CAB, CAB, or yung ating theta, is equal to arc BC. Bakit sila naging equal? Kasi central angle to. At kung central angle siya, equal siya nung arc niya. Therefore, yung theta o yung angle CAB is equal to 90 degrees and that's it. We're done. So, ito yung pinakamadali. So, example number 2. Hirapan natin. So, given circle O, ang hinahanap natin tong theta. So, ito yung kailangan natin hanapin. And we have radius QO, SO, and OB. And ang sabi sa condition, yung arc QS, ito yung arc QS, arc QB, and arc VS, those are equal. Now, kung equal tong tatlong arcs natin, at ito ay kumukompleto sa isang buong bilog, gano'n ba yung measure ng isang buong bilog? Yung isang buong bilog ay 360 degrees. Eh hinati mo sa tatlong equal. So ano gagawin sa 360? Divide natin sa tatlo. Okay? And we get 120. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Yung arc na isa is 120. Yung isang arc ay 120 din. At yung natitira is 120. Kasi nga, pantay-pantay sila. Okay, now. Yung theta ng kailangan natin hanapin ay central angle. Yung angle QOV. So, anong ibig sabihin sa central angle theorem? Yung angle QOV is equals to the arc QB, yung na-intercepted niya na arc. So, therefore, yung theta is equals to 120 degrees and we're done. Okay, next, example number 3. Give the measure of the indicated angle. So, itong theta yung kailangan natin hanapin. Okay, itong theta. Now, walang given na kahit ano, pero meron tayong maliit na box na nakikita. So, syempre, kung yan lang given natin, imposible yung masagutan natin. Baka meron pang ibang tanong. Ayun, naman pala yung given. So, yung angle ROA, asan yun? R O a, central angle ROA, is equals to one-third nung arc GA. So, one-third siya nung arc GA. Now, again, walang given, pero may nakikita tayo dito small box. Meaning, na this angle is 90 degrees. Kung 90 degrees yung BOG, yung arc BG is equals to 90 degrees din. Bakit? Kasi ito ay central angle. Nakuha? Yung BGA, yung arc BGA, ito ay kalahati ng circle. Bakit naging kalahati? Kasi may diameter tayo dito na dumaan sa center. Kung ito ay 90, yung arc GA is also 90. Correct? Kasi ito ay 180. Yung total niya. So, meron tayong given na GA. Nakuha natin yung arc GA. So, makukuha na rin natin yung angle ROA. Kasi one third lang yun nun. So, we have angle ROA is equals to one third nung arc GA which is 90 degrees. And one third nung 90 is equals to 30 degrees. Therefore, yung angle ROA, yung central angle na ROA is equals to 30 degrees. So, ito ay 30 degrees to. Now, kung ito ay 30 degrees, since central angle to, yung arc na na-intercept niya na RA is also 30 degrees. Very good. Next. Itong buong arc na BRA, yung arc BRA, ito ay semicircle ulit. So, ito ay semicircle. Kung ito ay semicircle, may 30 ka na. So, ano pa yung kulang? 150 na lang. Bakit? Kasi ito ay 180 degrees. Okay, next. Itong 150 degrees na to, 
Ito ay na-intercept na arc ng angle BOR, which is our theta. Since central angle yan, kung ito ay 150, yung theta natin is also 150 degrees and we're done. So, hindi agad-agad na makukuha natin yung sagot na theta. So, syempre gagamitin natin yung ating mga given. Tandaan yung palagi, mabuti yan. So, kailangan yung gamitin yung given bago nyo mahanap yung sagot. Next. So, let's talk about inscribed angle and its intercepted arc. So, ano yung kaibahan ng inscribed angle sa central angle? So, tingnan natin mabuti. Inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex is on the circle and whose side contains chord of the circle. So, kanina, yung vertex ay nasa center. Ngayon, yung vertex is on the circle na. Okay, let's have a picture ng inscribed angle. Let's have a circle A. So, gawa muna tayo ng mga points kasi kailangan natin ng chord. So, gawa tayo ng chord DB saka ng chord DC. Yung na-form nilang angle, yung angle BDC is what we call inscribed angle. And ano yung na-intercept niya na arc? Yun yung arc BC. Okay, meron tayong tinatawag na inscribed angle theorem. And inscribed angle theorem states that the measure of an inscribed angle is half or kalahate half of the measure of its intercepted arc. Now, anong ibig sabihin? Kalahati daw. So, in this case, yung angle BDC is half lang ng measure ng arc BC. Let's have an example. Kung yung arc BC ay 80 degrees, ano naman yung angle theta? Since kalahate, ito ay 40 degrees. Very good. Now, kung arc BC ay 90 degrees, yung theta ay kalahati nun, so ito ay 45. Kung yung BC ay 100, kalahati, 50. And so on and so forth. Next, paano kung yung angle yung given? Ganun naman yung arc. Okay, so kayo na kalahati. Ngayon, kung given yung angle, doble. Siyempre, kung ito ay 35, ito ay very good. 70 degrees. Eh, paano kung yung inscribed angle ay 10? So, yung arc niya is 20 degrees. Kung yung inscribed angle natin ay 15, so yung arc niya, yung na-intercepted na arc, must be 30, and so on, and so forth. Let's have an example. Example number 1. Solve the following problems dealing with the angles and arcs. So, ang goal natin is hanapin yung value ng x. Okay, so this is very straightforward. Kung mapapansin, yung angle UOP, UOP is an inscribed angle. At yung na-intercept siya na arc ay arc UP. Okay, and we know sa inscribed angle theorem na yung inscribed angle natin na UOP is one half or kalahati ng arc UP. So, ano ba yung angle natin na UOP? And this is just X. At ito ay kalahati ng arc UP, which is 120 degrees. So, kung ito ay 120, yung angle natin ay 60 degrees. And we're done. Ganun lang kasimple. Or simply, kung ito ay 120, yung X natin ay 60. Kasi ito ay inscribed angle. So, kailan siya nagiging inscribed? Kapag yung vertex ay nandoon sa circle mismo. Okay, wala sa center yun ha. Okay, let's continue. Sample number 2. Now, yung goal is mahanap yung variable x. So, u, s, p, yung angle u, s, p is an inscribed angle. Na merong angle na 75 degrees. Now, ano yung arc na na-intercept niya? Yung na-intercept niya is yung arc u, d, p. Ano ngayon yung measure ng arc UDP? So, ito ay doble ng 75. So, 75 times 2 is 150 degrees. Now, para saan yung 100? Hmm, kung di naman magagamit, eh, di ba natin gamitin? 
So again, yung goal natin, mahanap yung variable x. Now, yung variable x na to, yung angle x na to, ito ay inscribed angle din. Okay? U, D, P ay inscribed angle. Now, yung U, D, P, meron siyang na-intercept na arc. Yun yung arc U, S, P. Okay? So, pag nahanap natin yung U, S, P, kakalahatiin lang natin, mukha natin yung X. Now, pati mahanap yung arc na kulay pula. So, tingnan mabuti. Iyan ay parang isang buong bilog. Eh, meron ka ng 150 na kulay dilaw. Ganun naman yung kulay pula. So, ito ay 360 minus 150 lang. Okay? And this equals to 210. 210 plus 150 is full circle, 360. Now, may 210 ka na. Ganun yung inscribed angle mo? Ito ay kalahati ng 210, which is 105 degrees. And therefore, x is equals to 105 degrees. And we're done. Now, meron akong tip sa inyo pag ganito ang given. Ang tawag dito is cyclic quadrilateral. So, ano ibig sabihin na a four-sided polygon na ipinaloob sa isang bilog? Now, meron tayong shortcut pag ganito yung given. Yung magkatapat na angle na magpo-form, palaging ang sum niyan is 180 degrees. Palagi yun. So, kung ito ay 105, ito ay 75. Pag pinag-add niyo yan, 180. At yun ay true for all. Okay? And again, this is just a tip for you. So, let's move on. Okay, ang goal is mahanap yung X. So, in this case, pag nahanap natin yung arc WQ, since ito ay inscribed angle, pag nahanap natin yung WQ, kalahatiin lang natin, yun na yung value ng X, and we're done. Okay? Now, pati mahanap yung WQ. Now, we have this arc, ito yung given natin. Ito ay 30 degrees at ito ay 120 degrees. And notice na yung HQ is a diameter kasi dumaan siya sa center na O. So, meaning, yung HFQ is 180 degrees. So, meron ka ng 30, meron ka ng 120, meron ka ng 150, ganun na lang yung kulang para maging 180. Ito ay 30 degrees na lang. So, we know, ito ay 30 degrees, yung arc WQ, eh yung WFQ o yung X ay inscribed angle. So, ibig sabihin, kalahati na itong 30 degrees. In this case, yung X natin ay 15 degrees. Therefore, X is equals to 15 degrees and we're done. And that's all for today. As always, that's it.